Got the light blue. Oh, Alpha yeah. change. You got a change? No, no. The pants were in the dark. Shit. Yeah, we're not mindful of that. No, you still look good, boo. Of course. You already know. How you feeling? I'm good. Do it. On my bike. Let's do it. A little, can you go a little bit back, backwards? to Manzalillo. First of all, peace to the gods, beaming this light to all those that can receive it and reflect it. So today we're about to do a live broadcasting for the Costa Rica Channel 7 News. So me and Shanice gonna be performing, you know? And we're gonna see how everything is. So let's do it. Hey, first of all, how you feeling? I'm feeling nice. Oh. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, so here you guys again. Yes. I'm horrible. Ah. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> You're cold. So I'm recording. I'm recording for you too. What you got to say to the YouTube channel? Hi. <laughs> this is the beautiful Wanda oh, Patterson. Creator of so many things. So tell the people a little bit about yourself. Oh my club. goodness. Um, well, what we're doing today? Today and just in general. Oh my God, in general, we're mm -hmm. celebrating Afro-Caribbean culture. We're doing mm -hmm. everything in our power to empower ourselves, to visualize ourselves more, to to bring light to our culture and to our and to our spirit so mm. we realize the powerful and the strength and the beauty that we are mm -hmm. so we can begin to spread it as such and begin to erase um, all the lies and and the envies that being spread about ourselves mm -hmm. so basically that's what I do <laughs> hey, big up yourself, big up yourself what, what, yes. what do you have to say to African people globally? Excuse me? What, what would you have to say to African people globally? Oh know? my goodness, uh -huh. find find the strength. You, we all have the strength inside. It's all in ourselves. We that's. I, I heard something yesterday, and I always believed in. Since I've been little, since I was little, I believed that we are God. We are in the image of God. And when mm. you know when we say that, people get offended. surprised, offended, or whatever. And I always didn't understand why is it because we have meant to believe that God is outside. And I never felt like I, I needed to pray outside of me. The praying that I do is always for within me because I know that power is in me. And I have always felt it and I know it. And whenever I see this powerful, beautiful brothers and sisters making it amazing in the world, I, there's no doubt. It's just that you see the lights, they're being illuminated. Sometimes you see lies, you know, that we go off and on, mm -hmm. but the most important is to notice that we all have the power and the power is within ourselves and That's we need to truth. find it and we need to shine. And we are finding it and we are the light. Yes. Hey, yes. Fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> yes. yes. Absolutely. A hundred percent. So, so what's going on? Everybody in Costa Rica watches this program because it's, it's called Good Morning. Well, you have one in the States. It's called Good, Good Morning, Morning America. America. Yeah, yeah. This is the same. This is the equal to Good Morning America. What? But this is Good Morning Costa Rica. Oh, it's shit. Buen Dia Costa Rica. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So everybody watches it. Your number is going to be on the screen. Uh -huh. You're going to be dancing. They'll, they'll probably, I don't know if they will interview you. They might. 
-hmm. and then your number comes online. So people start calling your number for any stupid. They just want to get in touch with these people. They are on TV. That's oh, what happens. That's and crazy. and then you know, then we get a little clip. You'll see it uh -huh. because right now it's happening live. It's live. Yeah. As you're dancing, as they're filming, everything is happening live. Wow. So these are the these are the stars right now. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's so they crazy. do this every year. every year and this year Edwin they usually contact Edwin because they know him and, and we do it in Puerto uh -huh. and this year they wanted to do it again in Puerto but Edwin was too tired and he said he didn't want to do it uh -huh. and I said but let's not lose the, the possibility right and he goes it's how you know how many we have to feed it's more than 40 people we have to give them room and board so Thank goodness to Roger, uh -huh. and he's in Montevideo. No, 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 no cameras to me. Uh, I'm too shy. Eh, una, tú que eres local de aquí, ¿cómo ves esta lluvia? Yo, that's crazy. We finna be on live TV in Costa Rica. Who would have thought that would have happened when I came out here? So, yeah, man. Ya, ya, ya. Me va a dar algo. Hola. Ready for them. Come on, let me give you a little interview real quick. Ready for them. Yo, this is my brother. Singer. Hot hot. Yeah, no. Hot 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 hot. You yeah, don't know it. There ya. How you feeling? Feeling good, man. Ready to go on the national TV. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Yeah. It's amazing. Here in Manzanilla. It's wonderful and beautiful, as you can see. Uh -huh. The morning is nice, man. Many people worry about the little rain. It's a blessing mm. coming, so don't need to worry about nothing. Don't See, we are from the sea. All Welcome the to Puerto Villa, Ualaba. Hey. Right here on the Vazi Tama. Bosco, hot hot. Hot 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 hot. Keep it locked. So look, tell, tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, Ayana is a reggae artist from Jamaica. Sing. We sing reggae soul music. Sing. Starting out in the business professionally from 2008 you know mm. back in jamaica we won a big competition pertaining to like american idols uh -huh, uh -huh. right so it's a program that show on the national tv and the jamaican people voted for you you know so in 2008 i become the first winner of the magnum kings and queens of dance mm. so you know say anything after is kings i am the king mm. the real one so from there we're taking the music to higher level you now we're here in costa rica you know what i mean spreading the music you know what I mean? Wallet more places left look at the world is big. So we continue to spread the music. It's kind of a positive message. Seeing we're sending the music to the nation, to the world. Now, we don't want to sing nothing negativity. Cause right now in Jamaica they have a saying saying that it's garbage coming from Jamaica. Mean mean saying like the heart is them, the young youth them, they're singing like, you know what I mean? Things about cocky dung in a throat and you know what I mean, gunshot in a head. But we're not singing those stuff. We're singing consciousness, uplifting music. You can listen to a singer of music and your day becomes uplighting. So yeah. that's what we're doing. So yeah. it's positiveness. See? Pasca, ha ta ta. Yeah. My people, try and do good. Try and do good. Try and do good and good will follow you. Da. Boom. Keep it locked. <laughs> you know. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> The hair over there, they make it look too much, too rude. Mm -hmm. Like in the video from Smoke. You remember? Oh, you like the hair? Yeah, our hair too too rude. I look like Chata, Chata Boy, you know? What's Chata Boy? Chata Boy. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? No, it's not. Who's that? Who's that? What is that? What's that? What's Chata? Chata? Yo, she can no. explain. Chata Boy. I can't explain Like you. Bad Boy. I can't quite explain you. Boy, yeah, easy, like like a gangsta, gangsta vibe, you know. Oh, like, like a gangsta. That, what? That's a good vibe. I mean, people oh, normally yeah. say that wrong, the wrong way because people say chata, but I mean, they think that everybody that that listen to reggae music or dance out and dress with, you know, like, uh, yeah, yeah, like a different <laughs> different way, or like the rap vibe, like not in a bad vibe, way. Oh, you know, like big clothing, uh huh, you know, a big shoe, uh huh, the bling bling. Oh, the bling bling, the gangster, the thug, thug life, thug life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what he said. Oh, you look like you're 12. Come on, uh, what are you talking about? But that's the idea. Also, that was the idea. That's why I cut it. Uh huh. To yeah. look like you're 12 again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. So well, yeah, that's my brother. The people run away to me when they see when they see me with my big, so, big, big, big. How you feeling? Tell the people a little bit about yourself. What do you say? What do you say? Tell the people a little bit about yourself. About myself? Yeah. 
Um, what are you going to say? Who are you? Where are you from? I'm from Puerto Viejo. My name is Darian Lopez. I grew up over here with a with a clean, with a family, with so much sport around. Mm -hmm. You know, like one of my brothers, two of my brothers was uh, professional surfers. Mm -hmm. So they showed me until I was young, mm -hmm. when I was eight years old, to surf. And after that, uh, I come back to Puerto Viejo because I was one year, just one year of my life living in Jaco. Mm -hmm. Because my family was over there for trying to make a business and like that, but was not working. So they stay there because there's all the sponsors. Jaco mm -hmm. is like the city of surfing in Costa Rica. So they say back, we come back over here. And then I start to live my, my sport life by myself. You know, mm -hmm. I start to learn basketball, volleyball, skateboarding, a little bit of everything. Because I was so much energy every time. Mm -hmm. So I gotta use my energy in something, you know what I mean? Somewhere. Yeah, and then after after when I grow up, right now, I I love with the with the music. I love music, I love dance. Yeah, this man a whole dance, y'all. And now that's my, whole model it's my life. I work, I make money, I have fun, I meet people. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the best thing that is happening in my life right now. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fisherman, dance yeah. people, Pura Vida. That's my claim around. I know. You know? So what, what inspires you to keep living every day? Sorry, one more day? What, what inspires you to keep living every day? Like, what's your purpose of living? My purpose? Of living every day. Um, it's a good question. Yeah. yeah. It's a good question. <laughs> It's not a question you can answer with 20 years old, just like that. Oh, you know, you I'm a big 20. I'm, I'm really confused right now. I'm still in the in the way to find the answer of that question. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't so have it right now. So but the only thing I can say is like I'm not I'm not gonna push myself. I'm just gonna go in the way that I go, mm -hmm. have fun, do the things that I that I really like because I was working until I was young, in stuff that I don't really like it. You know, just work for money mm -hmm. and work a lot, not get too much money, take somebody behind you every time tell you do something then he don't even know how to do it. Mm. You know what I mean? So right now I just do what I like, what I love, what I, what I really feel. And thanks God, I can make money for, so I'm just, right now I'm, I'm in a standby. You, yeah. know? you don't like being pushed to do Yeah, things. exactly. Right now I'm, I'm just, just in flow. the flow. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. And create what you want. Exactly. Hey, that's exactly. good to be 20 because most are living in the... Uh, a rat race, you yeah, know, they're exactly. doing things that the people want them exactly. to do. But they're uh, not living a fulfilled life. Yeah, every time when I was young, all my family was pushing me for go to the university and do some stuff like that. But I never, I never saw that like an option for me. Mm. I don't. I feel like grow up and 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 go to the school, high school, university, work is like a control. You know, they they show you how to be control for somebody else, not show you how to be. You, you know, made mm -hmm. how made your business, how how be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, I dropped out of high school when I was 16. 16? Mm -hmm. Wow. 16, I dropped out. Yeah. And I never, well, I went back to work for a year, but I dropped out again and never went back. I said, fuck school a long time ago. Then I created my own path. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can say is like, you get a, be with a good area around you for for grow up in a good way. Uh -huh. You know, one thing who helped me was meet people and, and stay with people older than me. Helped me a lot of because it's make me mature quicker. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Every time for dance, for fishing, for for learn everything, for play sports. Every time I, I meet people older uh -huh. than me and I paid someone that so much attention when they told me something, I don't take it never in a bad way. Uh -huh. I every time take it in a good way for for take the juice of, of that, yep. you know. Every yep. time, if I have the opportunity for, for take the juice of some of something, mm -hmm. I will I will make it. Mm -hmm. Gotta be, you know, never, never get angry just like that. Just take everything in the best way for, for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Fire. Fire. That's gonna be on YouTube. It's raining intact. Yes, so I'm with my brother. What's your name again? My name is Edgar Campbell. Edgar Campbell. So how you feeling? Tell the people how you feeling. I'm feeling fine. In the a day like today, celebrating the recognition that we had acquired after a struggle of many, many years. Mm -hmm. So now, after this, we have to go to getting our rights together for our people. Mm -hmm. So we as a people, mm -hmm. we have to start uh, climbing on the ladder so that they understand that we are ready to take our positions. Mm -hmm. We are grateful 
with what's going on, but still it is not enough. We need more because we have gave a lot and we have not get in return mm -hmm. the gratitude that we, we should. Right. So we are fighting for that mm -hmm. respect more than anything. So, so what's, what's happening in Costa Rica right now regarding black people beyond the parades going on, you know, the celebrating of African culture? Because I see everybody is celebrating African culture when it comes to clothing, but we are deeper than just clothing, the physical. Well, there is where we, we are working now because I think that we, we had surpass the clothing mm -hmm. so we have to start uh, digging deep in the concept of spirituality and mm -hmm. understanding who we are and why we are like this and the most important thing here in Costa Rica that we are understanding mm -hmm. that we are a very important part of the nationality mm -hmm. we build this country and they try to deny our presence mm -hmm. so what we are doing now is multiplying our presence and our possibilities and our abilities so that they understand that we are bonded in the nationality of Costa Rica. Mm. So they like it or not, we are in a multicultural country, but we are an individual with goals, with dreams, mm -hmm. and the most important thing with an history right. and we are trying to rebuild our history and make it be stronger than it was in the past right so you said it's multicultural but everything in costa rica was built on the backs of black people right yeah right so can you give us a little like history about that when the when the conquerors reached the first people they came with was with our brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. More, mostly our brothers, who they brought the slaves to work in these lands. And they start uh, mixing with mm -hmm. the autochthonous people from this area, or the indigenous people. So there is where the concept of multiculturality starts. Mm. But still, after that, we came in with other group of migrants who came in to Guanacaste and the Catlin and who came in to build the railroad. So that's why we are so mixed in this country. Mm. I'm getting wet. Yeah, we can step in, <laughs> step into here. We can go right here. Cool. Yeah, you can continue. So, otherwise for us, otherwise for us, it's very important to work with our kids, our children, our grandchildren. For us, it's very important to get our kids and grandkids involved with this situation. Mm -hmm. They need to know and understand the history mm -hmm. so that it can build their pride and let, let them understand that we are in any people. We are chosen people. Mm -hmm. We have all it needs to be developed. We have to do is believe in our strength, believe in our spirituality, mm -hmm believe in our history and do never, never forget the road that the ancestors built mm -hmm. for us. So when it comes to spirituality, what's the, what's the system of spirituality when it comes to African people? And how do we uphold that spiritual system? At times people do not understand our spirituality. We understand that everything that is around us is part of nature, part of, of us. Mm. And we live with our plants, we live with our cattle, we live with the air, we try to understand the messages that each one of these elements are for us, mm -hmm. and that is what makes our spirituality different from the rest. 
we do not believe in something that will build for us constantly. Mm. We believe in something that is there that helps us to build what we need. So that concept of spirituality is not a concept that each and every one in the community handle or understand. Mm. And we always believe that our grandparents or great grandparents is there with us because I feel like we we never die. We just change from, from, from a farm and from one plane to another. Uh -huh. So we are always there. So our parents are always with us. That's why we are fighting so much. The fight will be long, but we are always strong. That's mm. why we never lose. Mm. We always win and the end because mm. we never fight alone. We always fight in community. Mm. And there is where our strength lies because we are people of a community. Mm. This concept of tribal, this tribal concept, we have to work it very hard that the people understand that when one, two, three, four, five, six get together, it's chains that cannot be broken, mm -hmm. cannot be broken. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand that history, remembering our ancestors, Re building and our spirituality mm -hmm. and the most important thing start linking our people here there and anywhere and I would like to to, to say this once when I was a member of the education international which is a a group a worldwide group of teachers mm -hmm. I remember we were going to election and I went in representation of Latin America and I spoke to an old man from Kenya by the name of Tom Bediako and he said to me when I begged him the support from the, the African teachers he said to me excuse me my brother say an African is an African in any part of the world so you do not have to beg me the support. Mm. The support is yours. So from that moment, I understand that I could burn in Alaska, the color of my skin mm -hmm. and the curl in my ear, tell me and you who I am. So mm -hmm. an African is an African here, there, and anywhere. Anywhere on the earth. Mm. So you spoke about the ancestors and the connection that we have to them and that we're never alone. So what would you say is the process of reconnecting back to your ancestors and remembering where we come from and who we are? This process is taking a little time because we had been historically brainwashed. Uh, starting from the, the concept of religion. You know, daily thing to us as a people. <laughs> so they try to to take us take us away from our ties with mm -hmm. our people but history and the rebuilding of history and the the researching and the researchers are reconnecting us with our people mm -hmm. reconnecting us with our ancestors and letting us understand that certain manifestation that before we could not explain it have a reason and that reason is because our people they never left. Mm. They are always with us. So they are the essence of the fight that we are putting on at this moment. Mm. That's awesome. And last thing, what's, what do you feel is the destiny for African people generations from now? A long, long, long down the line. It's a matter of the looking through history. Mm -hmm and trying to contrast history with the reality. We are coming together. Mm. We are coming together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can understand with the little the problems that we are having in our countries, the conflicts, that all these conflicts that we are living in Africa is not African conflicts. It's third parties mm. creating conflicts to keep us divided. Mm. But we have 
people who understand that and working very hard to keep us united. And this have the world worried mm -hmm. because when we come together as one, mm -hmm. we will be invincible. invincible. At this moment we are, but we don't understand our strength. Exactly. But we are getting to understand and put in our knowledge and, uh, and all of our sources together. Mm. And this is where the big problem is. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing is that our, our uh, kids mm -hmm. is understanding the need of coming together. Mm. So that's why for us, researching mm -hmm. is uh, one of the primary sources for us. Universities, teachers, professors, uh, scientists, we have to work together so that we understand who we are. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a lot of uh, technology that can keep us very close and tie us together. Right. So it's very hard for them to go and burn the libraries now oh, yeah, because we have the libraries in the te with the technology. Uh -huh. So the knowledge is there. Uh -huh. What we have to do is dig in the knowledge and understand who we are. Uh -huh. Understanding who we are, we will be unconquerable. Mm. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Keep this film. Celebration, feel the wave of the vibration. We want to be a 
Chicken, chicken. Yes, yes, yes. ¿Lo viste este Sadra? ¿Viste el top cómo está? ¡Wanda! I'm in the car with the beautiful Laylee. Thank you. Laylee. Thank you. So tell the people a little bit, you know, about yourself. You know, who are you? Where are you from? Well, my name is Laylee Brown. Mm. I'm from Puerto Viejo. I was born here. Um, man, life has taken me all around the place. Mm. I've lived in Europe. I lived in the UK. I lived in the US. Um, spent some time in the Middle East. What? Like, yes, yes, okay. yes. But home, this is home. Puerto know? Viejo. Puerto Viejo is home. Mm. And um, right now I'm just, I'm, I'm in the fight just defending our rights, defending our home. Mm. In, you know, the Afro community here. Yes. We've always lived along the 200 meters. You know, along the, the shoreline. At a coastline. Yes. And now many of us are receiving demolition orders. And the demolition orders are? Are to break down our ancestral homes, mm. our businesses. I mean, that would kill our livelihood. But um, we're putting up a fight, <laughs> mm. you know. It seems like these things, you know, they're just all over the world. In the U.S., what do they call it? Redlining? The red you line. know, yeah. Um, here, it's their strict interpretations of certain laws that are passed. You know, the way they're being interpreted mm -hmm. to affect us negatively. Right. But uh, yeah, that's the that's the cause, and I am so so glad that mm -hmm. you accepted to come and do this with me today. Yes. We as soon excited. as you said it, I said no. I'm <laughs> I'm down for it. Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. I mean, I think this is something so special. You know, um, during the month of August, we have all of our Afro celebrations mm -hmm. going on here on the coast. You know, August 1st is yep. the um, emancipation of um, slavery, even though... In Costa Rica? Um, in Jamaica, the West Indies from the British, right? Uh -huh. But my great-grandparents mm -hmm. are from Jamaica or from the West Indies. Uh -huh. And I was just thinking about that, you know, just thinking about what we're going to share with the youth today. Right. And my grandmother, she's 90 years old. Wow. You know, I was going to invite her to come with us today. Mm -hmm. But then I'm thinking, slavery was abolished in 1834. Man, my grandmother is 90 years old. Right. You know, her father lived to be 95. Wow. That is not that long ago. No, that's you know? history itself living. Right. You know, we're not that that far apart. Mm. And we still see those effects today. You know, I was at a, at a chat last night um, by the wonderful um, 
Patrick Lumumba mm. and he was he was speaking and he was like slavery is still happening it's like, still here this is not finished yep. and um, so I'm hoping that together we can convey a beautiful message mm-hmm. um, and also just be able to appreciate where we are today there's so much more there's so much to do mm-hmm. you know and to have the pleasure to do a speech and have you your presentation mm-hmm. yes i think we're gonna well we're improvising this presentation as we go along but what is flowing with spirit to see. yes flowing with spirit. that is exactly mm-hmm. what i see in you mm-hmm. i'm always telling you that you know the the spirit it's it's so present spirit is present and i see spirit flowing out mm. of you just it just pours out of you mm. and especially especially when you dance mm. seeing you dance mm-hmm. is witnessing that connection with divinity it's my thoughts i've always always said this it's just like a a, a truth that i know mm. the artist the artist is the intermediate between man and the gods oh I mean the arts the scientists the the sciences these are of the realms of divinity mm. you know nobody invented electricity nobody invents these things they're all latent in nature just mm. awaiting that seeing eye to be that here and here yes to recognize that mm. <laughs> and you you are powerful yourself too because you are spirit you. yourself and you Bless say you. your spirit flows to me, but it, it, I'm a reflection of you and all of the things that you do, the work that you yeah, at the high school or the college. I'm about to do the performance. Hey! Hey! <laughs> What's up? Hi. I'm telling you the most popular award. All the kids know him. Ah, uh, what's up? What's up? We've got the model right here. Hey! <laughs> We're gonna do a performance here. I'm with the most popular guy. Ah. Yo, this is beautiful. So we're gonna show y'all more when we do more. el aplauso gracias chicos por esa representación del baile llamado Boogie Boogie continuamos entonces tenemos una presentación, otro acto cultural a cargo de la escuela líder de Bribri así que escuela líder Bribri tiene el espacio adelante Oh, wow. Una 
beautiful day. Y'all seen it, you know, from earlier, being on the news, you know, showcasing our talents, who we are, me, Shanice, and all of the other artists, from meeting Laylee and seeing what she had to say about Costa Rica, about what's happening in Costa Rica, how the government's trying to destroy the coastline, the ancestral lands to build businesses for profit. And two, all of the beautiful black people that we've seen, their stories and you know who they are. It's so much more of our beautiful people, black people, African people that has to be shown here and their stories because the African root here in Costa Rica and Puerto Viejo is prominent and it's attempted to be washed out. It's attempted to not be shown so that we won't know the root. So I'm grateful to be here to show y'all more experiences and to show y'all more black people here. I am grateful and grateful. Uh, grateful. <laughs> Grateful. So, here's here's to more to come. So, peace to the gods. I'm beaming this light to all those that can receive it and reflect it. And here's to more experiences to come. And here's to showing the root of us as an African people here and the African culture that's here. We will prevail as African people. We are taking back our earth. Salute.